What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Q, that rude boy, AK, okay? the wave, man, 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 man. We back at it like crack addicts. You already know how we rocking, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me and stop playing with me. Look, today I'm coming to y'all with that Mr. Bounce out with that fofo. -fo. So you already know who it is, man. So why be in the mirror? Vocal effect tutorial, man. Let's get right into this. Dang, 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 dang. Right after these messages. Boom. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. Oh, bop. Pow. Oh! Welcome back to the channel, y'all, man. If you wave gang, man, look. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Look. If you're not wave gang, I don't know what you're doing here. You just looking at me. I don't know you. If I don't know you, you just staring at me. We got a problem. You hear me? I told you I ain't got time for that, but nigga, today I got time, cuz. So just make sure you go down, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you comment who else y'all want to hear and how y'all feel about these vocal effect tutorials. Y'all know how I'm rocking, man. Look, make sure you follow me here at QDatRuby on Instagram and Twitter. And let's get right into these shout outs so we can get into this tutorial, man. I want to first shout out two people from the Wave Gang. I want to shout out Player Troy. He left a lit ass comment on the Instagram. And the next person I want to shout out is Chris underscore Groin Inc. Shout out these uh should pop up on the screen. Uh, shout out y'all, man. If y'all want to be in the shout out, just make sure you head to my Instagram and just leave a genuine comment, man. I'm going to get y'all right. Y'all, you know how I'm rocking, man. Look, let's get into this brain thing, thing, man. You hear me? So this is what we're going to get into, man. It's the preview song right here. Hey. Hey. Always watching me when they should really just be watching their daughter because uh, they out here grind stick like they Harry Potter. Hey. Ay, it's Mr. Bounce out with that fofo But let's leave you deaf and I ain't talking about no so-so Who? Me wife and chick, OG told me that's a no-no I just have him bouncing all up on his stick just like a pogo Ay, I text my birdie like, hey, gonna hit my phone phone And I'ma lead this girl like I got places to go-go But honestly, I only came here for that cho-cho If you think I came here to cuddle, baby girl, you a slow-co, ay all heads watching me when they should watch their daughter Cause they be out here riding stitches like they Harry Potter Ay. Yeah man, you already know what it is man, look That's the little preview track man, we gonna get right into this vocal effect tutorial Let's get it man First things first We have to understand who Ooh <laughs> Reverse, reverse Reverse, reverse First thing, we have to understand who YB in the Mirror is, man. YB in the Mirror is a young and upcoming artist, man. He's, he's kind of young, but he's doing his thing right now. So first things first, if you want to have a YB in the Mirror type vocal, you have to kind of sound like YB in the Mirror. So this goes into his pronunciation. I mean, I ain't do it the best. I was trying, you know, I, I was trying my best. You feel me? What you, what you want me to do? You hear me? Look. Uh, first thing you have to do is if you want to sound like YB in the mirror, you have to kind of have his delivery. One thing about this guy, he is not a mumble rapper. Like if we really talking about mumble rappers, he's not a mumble rapper. Okay. He speaks clear. You feel me? His delivery is serious. You hear me? You hear that boy? He come on that track. Like he really, Hey, <laughs> I can't ever wife. <laughs> you hear me? So that's first things first, man. If you want to sound like YB in the mirror or have any type of vocal effect tutorial close to him, work on your delivery. That's going to be the strongest part about it all. All right. Besides that, let's get right into this, man. Mr. Bounce out with that 4-4. Okay. <laughs> Look. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get this parametric EQ. Now, on this parametric EQ, you have to understand why being the mirror kind of has a deeper kind of voice. So, for this, I left uh, the high pass kind of uh, kind of big, you know. I left it at a 158. I did a high pass cut at around 158. What the high pass cut does is allows the highs, which is the higher frequencies in the um, the the frequency channel to pass you feel me so it's a high pass filter so it's gonna cut the lows so we cut the lows at 158 next thing i did i did a frequency uh sweep which is basically um making this up here and playing the vocal as so you deaf and I ain't talking about no so-so who me wife and chick OG told me that's a no-no I just have them bouncing all up on the stick just like a pogo hey now after you freak the, the after you sweep the frequencies you find the uh the bass range so I was looking for the bass range so mine was around 246 so basically what you do you get to 246 and you bring it down whatever your bass range is you find it and bring it down 
Another frequency sweep I did was um, I found a frequency at around the 500 range. It was at 567, and there was a boxy tone, kind of like if I was in a box, you feel me? So I took that bad frequency out, and I also took another frequency out at a 3600. Now, I didn't boost at all in this in this uh, specific EQ because um, YB in the mirror has a pretty um, natural recording sound, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. So I just left it like that, and that's the first EQ. Second EQ I did was um, just to bring a little air over top, just to bring the clarity out in the vocal a little bit more. So we just boosted around the, um, the 1200 range just for some air over top. And that's the secondary EQ right there. So I'll play it with and without the EQs. You deaf and I ain't talking about no so so who me wife a chick OG told me that's a no no. I just have him bouncing all up on his stick just like a pogo. Hey, so that's how it sounds. Next thing I did was I got a uh, Maximus and we use this for the um DSer. Um, basically, you just get Maximus and you go to preset. You want to go to DS uh, narrow band and that gives you this uh, gives you this DSer right here. You know what I'm saying? Bounce out with that fofo. -fo, you hear me. All right, so the next thing we did, we got the compressor, the free compressor. We went to negative 44 threshold because, of course, you missed the bounce out with that fofo. Man, he don't tell y'all that for no reason. Get right. You got to listen. They telling y'all everything. You hear me? Just get right. So uh, we did the uh, threshold, the negative fofo. -fo. Uh, usually thresholds for compressors can go anywhere from, for me, it ranges between negative 35 to around anywhere to maybe even 50, depending how much you want to smash your vocal. And then we did a ratio to uh, 9, 2 to 1. Well, basically a 9 to 1 ratio. And then uh, we did an attack at 3.5, and then we release at 200. That's usually where it starts anyway. The type of vintage, it gives you more of an analog feel. And um, we did the gain to make up for basically the um, loss of output. Uh, we did at 8, 8 dB. We gained it 8 dB. All right. Basically, what you compress for is just what it sounds like. You want to compress the vocal. Because the vocal, when you record, you're going to be going your dynamic range, meaning volume is going to be ranging from very low to very loud. You hear me? So you want to compress that and bring it to a, a nice range to where it just stays even pretty much throughout the whole track. Next thing we did, we got the sound goodizer. Now, basically, for the sound goodizer, I used the preset C because I'll play it in a second. But preset C, what that does is it puts us in a range where... Our, our mid bass range kind of pops out more rather than like a if you want if you want preset a it'll more likely um bring a higher range out so it'll bring more clarity in your voice but uh we did see just to bring the uh, mid kind of like boost the mid bass because like i said why being the mirror has kind of a a bassy voice and it, it really comes through nicely so i'll play that for you guys right now with and without it and i'll switch also preset so you guys can hear what they do as well you deaf and I ain't talking about no so so who me wife a chick OG told me that's a no no I just have them bouncing all up on the stick just like a pogo hey and I'ma lead this girl like I got places to go go so that's what we did and we just used uh we just basically used this knob and we went about one fourth the way 25% man look it's pretty much that simple look next thing we did we of course Got the sub bus. What I like to call sub bus is this little knob right here. And we just got the reverb. And basically, we used the sub bus to bring it about one fourth away as well. And that got us this. So, this sounds good. Next thing we did, now you want to get these background vocals. You want to get the. Bra, 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 bra. Gang. Gang. Bra. It's the bounce out with that. You know what I'm saying? Look, so. Oh, nigga. Deaf and oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Bra, bra, bra. That's a no me. I just have him bouncing all up on his stick just like a pogo. Bounce, 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 bounce. So, in order to get those background vocals, basically what you guys have to do is basically it's the same effects except for a couple things we changed. Now, one thing we changed definitely is the parametric EQ. The EQ has to be different. You feel me? This is kind of more in a filter. So, we did a high pass all the way up to about. We did a high pass cut all the way about to about 300, and we did a low pass cut to about. 40, 4200 and we boosted in the mid range about 1900 and also a little bit here but pretty much you just do the high pass low pass and boost a little bit in the 1900 range or 2000 range and you should be pretty set so i'll play it with and without the eq so you guys can hear how it sounds oh nigga oh nigga oh, 
told me that's a no no. Bounce, 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 bounce. So that's pretty much that right there. We got the same stuff, compressor. Uh, we added a limiter. Reason we added a limiter is because I felt like the compression wasn't doing enough. So what we did was we went here, added the limiter, and we moved the uh, ceiling down a lot just to make sure we crush it. So you'll see how it goes across right now. Oh, nigga. So this is actually it taking away the peaks, really like compressing it, really smashing it. So there's the uh, the numbers right here. Next thing we did, we had the same sound good eyes, we had the same reverb, but one thing we had to change was we added actually was the delay. Now me knowing the actual BPM of the beat, uh, this made it very much easier. So before the session started, I put the BPM of the beat, which was 160. Now, whenever you put the beat in there and you have the BPM of the beat, a cheat code to get the correct delay, because I've been telling you guys about getting the correct delay, you want your delays to be delayed correctly. You don't want them to be right after it and it's sounding off timing, because timing is everything. Music is semi-math as well. So, basically a cheat code is, if you put your BPM in here, you're able to actually just move the timing straight up at 12 o'clock. Straight up at 12 o'clock and it'll be on time. And um, also what I did here was cut. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Bow, 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 bow. Told me that's a no-no. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we rock it, man. Look, that's that YB in the man, Mr. Bounce Out with that fofo. -fo. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Q, that rude boy, the wave, man. Look, I want everybody to make sure you subscribe, comment, thumbs up this video, man. Road to 50K, you already know how we rock it, man. I'm bringing quality and I'm bringing that sound to y'all, man. People can't do it like the wave gang, man. Let's get it. You already know how we rock it, man. Dunzos!